Tell us about the event Jewish Voice for Peace is planning for the Virtual Women's and Gender Studies Conference. Uh, the conference is at uh, Southern Connecticut State University, and our chapter will introduce the audience to six women uh, whose lives have been deeply affected by the Israeli military occupation of the West Bank, uh, and they'll be speaking in their own words. Um, and our goal is to highlight the spectrum of responses that the women have had to the challenges brought on by the occupation, uh, and to encourage discussion of those responses. We're asking the audience to join us in exploring our own experiences with oppression, um, considering questions like how might I have responded, uh, and how am I affected or might intentionally, unintentionally be perpetuating systems of oppression in my life? Um, so that's the so just top of the meat of it. Okay. So before we forget, what's the day and the time that this will take place? It's uh, Saturday, April 24th, and it goes from 345 to 5 p.m. And it's part of a, lar a larger conference sponsored by Southern. That's right. It's the Women and Gender Studies Conference that they usually have every two years. And last year it was canceled. And so this is a uh, big occasion for them to have. And so it goes over the course of two days, Friday afternoon and all the way through Saturday with um, many, many concurrent sessions and panels with multiple papers uh, to lots of topics. But the focus is basically uh, social justice and uh, women and gender studies. It's a really good mi match for uh, JVP New Haven. They really welcome uh, community participation, although most of the sessions are quite academic uh, compared to ours. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a charge for people who want to uh, see the Zoom of the conference? Well, if you uh, you can register for the entire conference uh, on their site, and the charge for that is fifty dollars. Um, I can send a link, um, and but we expect to be able to live stream the event so that people can watch it for free. Um, the people who are in the conference will have a Zoom link so they can ask questions. Um, and it's possible that the online streaming will also allow for that, but the technology is not 100% settled yet. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are interested in uh, information and the Zoom links to the live stream, you can send email to newhaven at jvp.org. That's newhaven at jewishvoiceforpeace.org or just newhaven at jvp.org. Okay, so who are the women that you'll be highlighting, these six women, and uh, why did you pick them? Huh. Well, we wanted the women, uh, we wanted to present women whose lives have been really deeply affected by the Israeli military occupation, and we wanted them to speak for themselves using video clips um, that included their thoughts about why they do what they do. Um, and we wanted a range of responses and a range of voices from different perspectives. So the women are from uh, Palestine, Israel, and one from the U.S. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a range. It's not, there aren't any um, voices that are in favor of oppression, uh, but they are all women who responded differently. Um, do you want me to go tell you a little about each one? If, if you could. Sure. Um, so Ahed Tamimi, um, mm -hmm. you may have heard of, she caused a big stir when uh, she slapped a, a heavily armed IDF soldier and she sent, spent some time uh, in jail as a result of that. Um, Jana Jihad, who's her cousin, who's quite a bit younger and decided at the age of seven that she was going to be a journalist because 
journalists weren't doing a good job of covering <clears throat> the activities that were happening in her village of Belin. And she's, uh, I think, 16 now and uh, very articulate. Um, we have Gil Halel and Sahar Vardi, who are uh, Israeli women. Um, Gil talks about her experience of losing her humanity in the IDF. Um, and that's really interesting because she thought that she could go into the Israeli Defense Force and be the, be the kinder, gentler face of it and not be abusive. And she found she wasn't, I mean, that she was transformed by the IDF in a way she didn't like at all. And Sahar Vardi is a resistor to the Israeli Defense Force, and she's an activist uh, working to, to stop the oppression that Israel uh, is perpetuating, but also um, working broadly and internationally on all of the sort of interconnected uh, movements. So she's uh, got a very broad focus. And Bahia Amawi is a Palestinian American speech pathologist uh, whose career was affected by a Texas state law that required her to sign a contract prohibiting the boycott of Israeli products. Um, and so each of them, we have a video clip, we have a, a, you know, an introduction to, so people have a little bit of context so they don't have to already know what's happening uh, in the West Bank or Palestine. Um, and so we tell their stories and invite people to consider that. Well, it sounds like an excellent panel, and we'll put uh, links under the YouTube so people can, uh, can find out more information. Uh, thank you very much for talking with me. It's great. Thank you. We're very excited.